Hi everyone, if you ever dream to start a podcast, I need to talk to you about Anchor. It is the easy way to make a podcast. Let's me explain. It is a free, that is creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute in your podcast for you. So you can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many, many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimal listenership. It is everything you need to make a podcast in just one place. So download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. of us came to this earth, to this existence, with a mission of grow as individuals, to master our passions and desires, and become the best version of ourselves. Whatever you are in this path of self-development, growth, discovering, and evolution, this podcast is for you. Come and join me in this amazing adventure of becoming someone greater than we were yesterday. Welcome to the Path to Become podcast. I am your host, Patricia Barrier, and I'm honored to have your company in this journey. Welcome everyone to one more episode of The Path to Become. Today I want to talk to you about something very amazing. I don't know if you ever heard about something called wholesome recreation that is also known as wholesome activity or wholesome recreational activity. To make things clear, I am using lexical dictionary to get a nice definition of activity. So, by lexical dictionary, we see that activity it is the condition in which things are happening or being done. A thing that a person or group does or has done or a recreational pursuit or pastime. The word welcome, wholesome, I'm sorry, by the same dictionary means conducive to or suggestive of good health and physical well-being or promote moral well-being. So this particular kind of activity differs itself from the common activities that we get involved because it does not happen just for the sake of pleasure. For an activity to be considered a wholesome activity, it is necessary to fulfill some specific requirements. Using Widmer and Tani Gush definition that I found in the book Successful Marriage and Families by Hawkins et al. A wholesome activity or recreation is an intentional process that can serve to promote positive development in your children, estrange our marriages, and build strong families. I don't know about you, my friend, but I should end interested in such kind of attitude. Well, we may be asking yourself now, what constitutes a wholesome activity? Or, as I like to call, an intentional activity. For, an, for one activity to be wholesome, it needs to include opportunities to verbally communicate. That's true. Your text. Comment something with your spouse or daughter. Do not qualify. Develop skills the same. Or potato couch activities <laughs> does not qualify either. Face a challenge, create memories, share traditions and beliefs, and spend time together in the family setting. So, 
If the activities that you and your families are participating at have those components, congratulations. You are doing a wholesome activity. How cool is that? Now, you may be asking yourself, but Patricia, why are you telling me all of this? What is in it for me? Or how can I benefit to know this information? Well, as I mentioned before, when we engage in some, such activities, we are promoting a positive development in your children. We can strengthen your marriage, uh, create positive home environment where teens can feel comfortable and discuss conflicts and personal issues, as well as promote a health identity development for those teens. In summary, a wholesome recreation helps to build a strong family. And family's well-being, for me, it is extremely important because I do believe that families matter. So, if you are a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, you are probably familiar with the term wholesome activity. Although I do believe that's not everybody that really understand the meaning of it. For those of you that doesn't know what I'm referring to, the term wholesome recreational activity is found in the proclamation written by such le church leaders called Family, the proclamation to the world, where uh, we as a member of the church use as guide for family matters. The proclamation is states, the family's family happiness and family life are most likely to be achieved under the teachings of Jesus Christ. Successful marriage and families are established on principles of faith, prayer, repentance, forgiveness, respect, love, compassion, work, and also recreational activities. So my idea here is to give you this information so you can make informed decisions about the kind of activities you and your family are engaging on. And those activities bring you guys together or apart? Are they promoting good conversation, strengthening the family bonds, or bring confusion, stress, and disconnection? knows the difference between wholesome activities and regular activities can give you the leverage of consciously use it for the benefits of your family's relationships. If you listen to my last episode where I talk about my big aha, you may understand why I'm so passionate about this topic. Well, it was a wholesome activity and some mindset shift to be true that allowed me to reconnect with my daughter and start my path of healing and growth with her after a period of distress and resentment. For me, at that moment, my wholesome activity was sewing. With sewing, I was able to reset my relationship with my daughter in a lighter and more fun atmosphere. In other words, I faced that challenge. I was also able to share a family tradition with her develop a skill, verbally communicate, and spend time together. Who knew that sewing could encompass all the attributes of a wholesome recreation? So since that time, I have used sewing as a wholesome recreation for different scenarios in my life. When I think that my relationship with my mom is in need of some attention, sewing party always helps us bond again. My daughter's dolls or doll's house always have some new item to, that, to add to the collection after we bond together in some sewing playtime. At church, I use it to bond when the 15 girls that I was responsible for in my calling of activity day leader. Oh, and let's not forget the incredible memories that a sewing activity helped create in my life, like help my mom embroider my wedding dress or sewing comf comfy blankets for family members and friends or even help others with my sewing skills like when I was able to make masks mask 
to donate. Like, so sewing can be an amazing tool for connection and bonding. And it is one of the tools that I use to teach the principle of wholesome activities for women that wants to improve their family's relationship. Now, do you need to know how to sew or even engage in a sewing activity to benefit from the principle of wholesome recreation? The answer is no. If you think about it, any activities can be used as wholesome recreation and you just need to put some intention on it. Have an intentional approach to it. Remember, Rosen activity is an intentional process. You will need to put some thought, time, intention to it. Okay, other day I was reading this book called The Intentional Family by William J. Dort, if I'm not wrong, and he defines what it is an intentional family. So, for him, intentional families are the kind of family where members create a working plan for maintain and build family ties and then implement the plan as best as they can. So, as you can see, an intentional family or a wholesome recreation activity do not, I repeat, do not happen by accident. It requires effort, plan, and execution of the plan in the best way you can. Oh, also remember to be flexible in your execution, though. The whole goal of this kind of activity is to bring closeness, to create strong bonds of connection. That is not a perfect time, you know, to be picky or trying to be perfectionist about the sewing project or even uh, time to break the records uh, on your family hiking activity. There are places in a time for thinking perfect your sewing project or breaking records. These activities are meant to create an atmosphere of love, cooperation, learning, and most of all, give us the opportunity to bond with our loved ones. So, in my nine years of marriage and seven as a mother, as September 2020, there's the time that I'm talking to you guys, I could use many different activities with the intention of improving my family's relationship, as well as with friends and work-related relationships. So, cooking cake decoration are my kids' favorites at the moment. Oh, and also they still love to mix slime. Ooh. Anyway, uh, <laughs> but that was not just these activities that we use. It is not like I just use sewing to bond with my daughter or my mom. We had enjoy each other and bond through painting, all sorts of crafting activities, garage cleaning, gardening, canning, hiking, swimming, Lego building. Don't forget, Lego in my house is a must-have. Storytelling or book reading, projects of service, and of course, sewing, and many more, many other kinds of activities. So, the activities that I usually use with my husband for bond goes from do the dishes, like work together in some house project, family or couples vacation, a slash trip. <laughs> if you have kids, you know what I'm talking about. Like to search houses at Zillow web. Okay. We do not intend to move anytime soon, but... We really enjoy to look at different houses and different places just to imagine what that place or house 
would be or feel for us. Crazy, right? But we have fun doing it. So why not? Now I want to invite you to ponder about this amazing principle of a wholesome recreation. And making a list, make a list of activities that you can use in your family or with your spouse, significant other, friend, co-work. And you can use as a tool for connection and bonding. So after you make that list, you can pick the activity of your choice for that moment in time of your life and make a plan. Put a goal on it. What is you trying to accomplish? Are you going to try to get more quality time together? Are you going to try to strengthen the bonds of the relationship by being more vulnerable and sharing? What is your goal? Make a plan in how you can use this activity in your list how in, in a way that turn it in a wholesome activity. Then execute your plan in the best way you can. Okay? Do not just let it sit on the paper. Go and do it. After you do that, let me know in the comments how your experience was with it. Okay? So everyone, that's all for, to, all for today and see you in the next episode. Hi guys, it's Patricia again. I'm stopping by just to remind you to download, share with your friends or sign up to, you know, next episode just pop up for you. Anyway, and also to remind you that your next episode, we're going to continue to learn. We're going to talk about false belief. Do you know what it is? Do you have any of them? So see you later, guys. <laughs>